In South Carolina today, the family of Jean and Billy Rogers heard new details about the plan to kill them. It came out during today's testimony in the 2020 Chester County double murder trial. New information revealed that Jean Alexander Scott organized the mur murders of his grandparents with friends. Queen City News is the only local station covering that trial. South Carolina Bureau Chief Shakira Speaks has new details from the courtroom. How would you like to never work another day in your life? That's how Gene Alexander Scott allegedly roped his friends into his plot to kill his grandfather for his life insurance money. He was set to receive nearly $700,000 from the policy, and one witness testified he was going to be paid $10,000 just to be his alibi. Its first witness Monday morning was Scott's former friend and co-worker in the Marines, Evan Webb. Webb testified he agreed to be the alibi while Scott and another friend committed the murders. According to Webb, Scott hashed out the plot with Webb and at least two other friends in his apartment. Webb was supposed to stay at Scott's apartment with his phone so it wouldn't ping off of any towers and make it look like he was at home all day with friends. Driving up there, he said that he was going to have a gas can so he wouldn't have to stop in a gas station so that no cameras would catch his car. And then whenever he got there, he was going to park roughly a mile off of wherever the house was and um, basically just trek through the woods to get the rest of the way there and do what he was going to do. And then whenever he left, he was going to change the tires on his car so that the truck didn't match up anymore. The group tried to carry out the plot on May 9, 2020, but Webb testified that Scott and the other friend were scared off by dogs barking and chasing them through the woods that night. Webb also testified that they went back on June 20, 2020 to try again, and that day they were successful. We'll have more information from today's proceedings coming up on Queen City News. For now, reporting in Chester County, Shakir Speaks, Queen City News.